think in this world we need great people, and when you lose them, you feel it hard. You know, it, it just you feel it deeply. Yeah, they, were, they weren't just parishioners or people at the church, they were friends. Nathan Peter now, lead pastor at Life Church in Fishers, says he's still in shock after finding out four people from central Indiana died in a plane crash Wednesday night in Venice, Florida, identified as Rick and Beth Beaver of Noblesville and Patty and Jeff Lumpkin of Fishers. He said there's been a plane crash and I asked, was it Jeff? And that's who it was. So, um, yeah, it's just heartbreaking. Peter Nell says Patty was a kind and caring woman, a realtor at Carpenter Realty in Indy. Jeff, he says, he met when he first came up for prayer years earlier, the pair becoming fast friends. Later, Jeff even serving as a mentor to his own son. He was somebody that, that walked around with a big smile and just a lot of encouragement. And so I think everybody that's found out, I think is just a little bit shocked. News that came that much harder knowing how much Jeff prided himself on safety when it came to flying. Yeah, he was a rule follower, definitely when it came to that. And he was always trying to tell my son, you've got to ob obey the guidelines. So he was very much um, somebody who wanted to have all of his, you know, everything in order. He would have been by the book kind of guy. Also in that plane, Rick and Beth Beaver. Rick ran Beaver Construction Management in Noblesville. Beth founded Indiana Elite Cheer and Tumbling, a staple for many young women around central Indiana. And this loss being felt all around the community. Here at Indiana Elite Cheer and Tumbling today, girls and their parents came out to leave messages for Coach Beth. Now, flowers, candles, and messages to Beth and her family surround the building. A tribute to the well-loved coach. Peter Nell says this is a tough loss for all that knew them. He says he saw the foursome together just weeks ago. They actually came to an event that we had just last month and they all sat at the same table and they were excited to raise money for missions. Peter Nell says as the news of this loss settles in for himself, the families and their church communities, he says there's comfort knowing that in the end, Jeff and Patty were together. They loved each other tremendously. So the idea that they were together, I think they probably would have wanted it that way. In Hamilton County, Rachel Krause, 13 News.